Hello, I'm Julie McDaniel Muldoon, Safety and Wellbeing Consultant at Oakland Schools. I created the Supportive Strategy Series with three-minute episodes I think might be helpful to you, especially during this extraordinary time. These short and sweet episodes are based on research and best practice. Episode 10 is the priority of educator self-care. Let's begin. Kata Weingarten has described the impact of stress on clergy, therapists, healthcare professionals, educators, and others in service fields as double jeopardy. Most educators go into the field as a calling to serve children and young people. Educators hear the details about and observe the trauma and tragedy of their students and colleagues. They become vulnerable to empathic stress responses, which easily seep from their professional into their personal lives. There are two empathic stress responses. Compassion fatigue or burnout occurs gradually over time and prevents the ability to work effectively. Job dissatisfaction and physical, emotional, and work-related difficulties grow. Secondary traumatic stress occurs at once as a result of vicarious exposure to a traumatic event. The symptoms are the same as post-traumatic stress. These empathic stress responses can happen at the same time. They are real, they are common, and most importantly, they are treatable. When we mismanage our stress reactions, we often turn to unhealthy ways of coping. Depression and despair make it more difficult to see healthy ways to manage our stress responses. This unhealthy coping perpetuates our despair and it begins to affect our colleagues, causing a ripple effect. The dilemma of empathy is not the stress, but the mismanagement of the stress that becomes harmful to ourselves and to those around us. The International Self-Care Foundation has established seven pillars of self-care based on the science of stress management. Pillar one is health literacy. Pillar two is mental well-being, self-awareness, and agency. Pillar three is physical activity. Pillar four is healthy eating. Pillar five is risk avoidance and mitigation. Pillar six is good hygiene. Pillar seven is responsible and rational use of self-care products and services. We recommend an abundance of self-compassion and self-care work. Self-care is a process, not a destination. Be gentle and kind with yourself as you would with a good friend. All of this content is based on solid research and best practice. Please contact me for selected references, more resources, discussion questions, and suggested topics for future episodes. You can reach me at julie.mcdaniel at oakland.k12.mi.us.